Hello for parents! For today's video, we will be talking about how to identify health problems in newborn puppies. Newborn puppies are extremely vulnerable and susceptible to a host of health problems. However, if you know what to look for, you should be able to spot a change in your puppy's health. There are a number of common symptoms such as increased crying, weight loss, or decreased appetite, which may indicate a serious health problem. If your puppies are vomiting, running a fever, or experiencing any respiratory issues, they are likely suffering from an infectious agent. Finally, recognizing other problems, like birth abnormalities or genetic disorders, which will help you highlight current and future health problems for your puppies. There are three methods on how to identify health problems in newborn puppies. Method number one is observing the common symptoms of newborn health problems. First is look for increased crying and whining. Healthy newborn puppies should cry very little. In fact, they should spend most of their time either sleeping or eating. Increased crying is a common symptom of most neonatal problems. If a puppy is crying, it may be overheated, becoming ill, experiencing pain, or not getting enough to eat. Second, notice a decrease in appetite. Puppies nurse frequently throughout the day. If you notice that any of the puppies are not nursing regularly, this may be a symptom of a larger problem. The puppies may be ill, have a digestive order, or be unable to nurse properly. This may be a symptom of hypothermia as well. Pups younger than 6 days old are unable to shiver and regulate their body temperature properly. A pup suffering from hypothermia will be unable to nurse or digest its food. You can help with this by keeping a heat lamp above your whelping box. Third, note any weight loss. Depending on the breed, a healthy newborn puppy can weigh around 120 to 625 grams. In its first few weeks, a healthy puppy should gain 5 to 10 percent of its birth weight each day. Weigh your puppies twice a day and take them to the veterinarian if they are not gaining weight normally. Fourth, spot a change in sleep patterns. When they are not nursing, newborn puppies should spend most of their time sleeping. If you notice that any of your puppies are not sleeping regularly or seem restless, be sure to take them to the vet. They may be suffering from an infection of some sort or not getting their nutritional needs met. Be sure to check your newborn puppies every few hours to make sure that they are sleeping and eating normally. Fifth, notice if the puppy sleeps away from the rest of the group. A healthy puppy will sleep in a group with its siblings and close to its mother. This helps the pups regulate their body temperature and facilitates feeding. However, if a pup is sleeping away from the rest of the group, it is likely that the mother has pushed it away for some reason. The puppy may have a congenital issue or the mother may not have enough milk to feed all the pups and has decided to sacrifice this puppy to save the litter. Sixth, pay attention to the mother's behavior. Often, the declining health of puppies is a result of a mother's action. Maternal neglect is a common cause of health problems in newborn puppies. A mother may not lie with her pups and warm them. She may also refuse to nurse her pups or not have enough milk to feed them all. If you notice that the mother is not capable of or is disinterested in taking care of her pups, you should remove them and care for them yourself. Method number 2. Recognizing the symptoms of an infectious agent. First, Look for diarrhea and vomiting. If your puppies are suffering from a bacterial, viral, or parasitic infection, the puppies will experience diarrhea and vomiting. This is a common symptom of most type of infections, particularly canine herpes virus, parvovirus, and intestinal parasites. There is a high mortality rate for puppies suffering from canine herpavirus and parvovirus. Second, 
check for a fever. If your newborn pups are suffering from an infection, they will run a fever. The healthy range for a dog's temperature is between 37.5 and 39.2 degrees Celsius. With anything over 39.7 Celsius is considered a fever. Third, observe any respiratory issues. A common symptom of many infections is sneezing, coughing, or eye discharge. These are all symptoms of an infectious agent causing respiratory complications immediately. Respiratory issues can be symptoms of distemper or kennel cough. The last method is noting other problems. Check for environmental complications. Newborn pups are extremely vulnerable to environmental factors like toxins or fluctuations in temperature. Because they are unable to regulate their body temperatures, they are susceptible to hypothermia and hyperthermia. Chemicals and toxins in their bedding or in the nearby environment can also harm puppies, poisoning them and affecting their health. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. Thank you.